we have talked about how to install Beast in your computer. So now let's start and begin with the basics of phylogenetics using Beast algorithm, Beast uh, tool. And for that, what you have to do is to first of all, there are three, four steps. The first step is to generate uh, XML file which will be used for the phylogenetic analysis and that can be done using beauty v1.10.4 xz file and that uh, for that you just have to double click this beauty uh, xz file and here you can see there are different options but uh, first you have to import the data and you can import any nexus beast or fasta file format sequences uh, Nexus is a bit different you um, then the FASTA format I will use the examples which are already in, incorporated in the in the in this along with the software so that if you want to re analyze this information and compare your results with uh, this tutorial that will be easier for you to move forward so here you can go on examples and examples data there are multiple data sets if we just select any of them for instance here we select apes nexus format and yeah and here it is imported now you can see a file name six texa which means six different uh, sequences and data type is nucleotide uh, everything is by default site model and all so here if you want to change the substitution model there are different substitution model this is beyond the scope of this tutorial here you can say JC, HKY, JTR, there are different models, you can select a model and um, you can also select different clock, molecular clock uh, models and uh, all other different so options of your interest, you can just select them and after that you just have to click the generate base file and it will then apes tutorial uh, for uh, XML uh, XML uh, for uh, apes underscore tutorial dot XML that this is the output file which will be generated by beauty the name is very beautiful okay now the you can see here that the uh, apes you can see here that apes to underscore tutorial dot X XML file is generated now in the next step after generating this file you have to close this and now you have to perform the beast analysis and you have to double click this file this uh, file yeah and here you have to select that beast XML file here where it is here now here you can select the beast xml file here and then here you can see that the beagle library is required so we have already installed the beagle library this is uh, very important for this analysis without this in the new software maybe in the older versions you can use it without library without beagle library but here it is uh, necessary so after choosing the file you just have to click run and yeah and this run will take a bit of time and uh, after this this whole process will run it will give you an output of these uh, apes log file apes ops.txt apes trees so these are the three main files which will be generated by it will take a lot of time so i'm just closing this here and uh, i have already generated these files and after generating these files now we want to see that the using this one uh, in the beginning using beauty you have generated the xml file and then using beast and uh, you you have generated the tree file which is in text format but here if you click the text format and you want to see it it's not uh, obviously the trees are not in the text format now we have to visualize this tree for that there is one more uh, method there is one more software that is now okay first you can see that this is the text file and here you cannot see the tree 
these are just the branch lengths and all the different information of these five texas which were incorporated in that apes.xml file but now if you want to uh, generate the tree th that is for that you need fig tree version 1.4.4 which is already downloaded and uh, we just have to go uh, to that uh, folder where that fig tree is installed and after going there you just have to click yeah so after clicking this you have to imp open that trees file in fig to visualize the tree generated so here you can see that now this is a java icon that means java is very important in this whole process yes and now you can see that there is a tree generated here you can see human then there are different uh, chimp, gorilla, orangutan, different species which are clustered together and chimp, uh, human is uh, distantly related from these apes in some ways now you can uh, depending on your interest you can make different way different uh, different tree styles for example here this one circular now this is the most common rectangulars and you can change the view of the tree as well or you can increase and decrease the horizontally or vertically or you can zoom or unzoom and other other informations as well which are more meaningful like the total the legends and the scale axis or the branch labels like here these are the different labels of this is the different values and all so i think now this is the this whole process is very simple and very user friendly uh, and so this i hope this story will be help you to use b software for phylogenetic analysis the only problem which comes uh, during the installation and performing was the beagle library and one thing is that you have to do everything step by step for instance first you have to install then you install java and then you install the libraries and then you have to restart the computer first and then perform all the analysis rest of the analysis i hope this tutorial will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the met and the comment bar thank you assalamu alaikum